it has long since been converted into the High Temple of Laxos. But alas, this is where Havakor's greatest creation betrayed him. This is where Vlaxos attacked Havakor. And this is where Havakor's soul resides. The last bit of essence that he had that Eos could not absorb. He retreated here and shielded the four of us from the eye of Eos. The four of us have very little in the way of divine power left, but we do have some. We have been waiting for the harbingers of the end time. That's not a good band name. Well, I mean, we did free pan, and that said we were harbingers of the end time, so I guess you got the right people. Yeah. Where is the little one? Not here. Uh, carefully guarded. You seem to misunderstand the warnings that were written upon the door. Possibly. But I never expect others to know what someone else means. Any enlightenment you have to offer would certainly be... <laughs> yes, we're definitely well, stumbling around in the dark. This is the one and only place that Pan is safe. We are here to guard Pan and stop anything from ever removing her from this place. Until the four of you can defeat the true evils that <laughs> will soon ravage the land. Oh. What is her function in all this? Anne is the first part of two beings. Her sister, Dora. Explore. Is... What's that? Explorer. <laughs> no. no. Her sister, Dora, is locked within a box deep beneath the ocean. Ah, floor. nice. Pandora's box. Oh, yeah. There it is. I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the throne you see before me, behind me, sorry, is the original throne of Havakor. Hmm. His essence is literally imbued in the chair. If you bring Pan here, she will be invisible to all. No one can track her. No one can ever remove her from this place without going through the four of us. From this watch point, I can see the universe. Hmm. I can see Zaladin scheming on his throne. I can see Adviticus marching his legions north. By the way, I'd keep an eye on that if I were you. We've been trying. Yes. And that is why you're here, is it not? Yes. He's causing too much trouble. Yes, he is. <laughs> Distracting he is... from more important things. He is but a splinter, I assure you. And I, at this point, believe that you understand fully that he isn't a true danger. He's more of an annoyance. Indeed. And I shall tell him as much the next time I see him. That's why he's doing this, just to impress you. <laughs> Loser. Adviticus's phylactery lies in a place that is long since destroyed. Lunaria has not existed for many years. But there's a sliver, tiny fraction of the realm that resides within the Feywild. Sit upon the throne before you, and he gives you a phrase that's about a hundred words long mm -hmm. to repeat. Mm-hmm says 
It is a one-way portal, you must understand. A one-way teleportation. Once you're there, you have to find your own way out. Oh, well, that's, that's the fun part. I imagine that on the other side, there's going to be a very angry dragon that's going to greet you. Be prepared for a fight. <coughs> Do you have any questions for me? Any. <laughs> Ask your questions. What is the nature of this threat we face? Ragnarok, as you call it. <laughs> Creatures uh -huh. from the far realm. Yes. Something Thor, great. Thor does like living in the old days. I imagine what, it's something of a coping mechanism. What we once believed to be the world serpent is actually the tentacles of the old gods. Hmm. The greater beings from the far realms have found a way to merge with this realm. They will break the walls that bound them to their location. The far realm isn't so much a, a location. It's a thing. It's everywhere. The far realm. The far realm is exactly, it is everything. Mm -hmm. It is nothing. The creatures yeah. that exist there aren't beings per se. They are the makings of the universe. They are the leftovers that couldn't form reality. They are the opposite of reality. They seek only to destroy reality. So they're breaking through. They are in the process, yes. If Pan and Dora combine, she is the key. Pandora, as a free creature, can open the first gateway. I'm sure you've seen her rest. Mm -hmm. She becomes something else. I was curious what you thought, actually. No. You see, Pan and Dora are the links to all of Eos's universes. When Pan sleeps, she wakes up in one of the other universes and continues living her life in that universe. Hmm. I believe Jacobs. You've met her on the other world, actually. Oh. She goes by another name. Aresis. <laughs> Fuck, so Pan was already in the ship. Uh, when you said we should put would Pan in the ship. It complicate things if she was also here under that identity. <laughs> no, for I I understand of what you speak. It is a complicated matter, but no. The fact that they both exist in this realm is not an issue, actually. That's good. It actually creates a unique situation that we must act upon. That is why she must come here. While Pan is here, Aresis can walk free. Aresis is what you would consider the, the teeth of a key. Very useful, but without the hand, without the original shaft, she is nothing. Anne is only part of the key. Dora is a lock. Dora is what you must face. <laughs> Are you saying we have to break the lock so the key doesn't open it? If Pan ever wakes up, or if Pan ever finds her sister, which We're not breaking I'm curious. The lock, but just break the lock, so yeah, it can't be opened. <laughs> if that were possible, it would have been done long ago. What I was... Your, your thoughts are on the right track, I believe. With Aresis being in this realm, in this universe, she is not in her original universe. She cannot complete the key. The lock can never be opened so long as Arisa stays here. Mm. However, 
if Pan continues to walk free, her sister will eventually break the door down. A lock is only as good as the hinges which hold the door. So it's only a matter of time? So long as Pan walks free, yes. Her original chambers was like hiding under the covers from a monster under your bed. Works for a time. But eventually the monster comes out from the bed and eats you anyways. If Pan can be set upon this throne, she will hibernate indefinitely. So we would be imprisoning here for her here forever. Then. That is the only way. The other option is to take Pan to the box, open the door, and face whatever comes out. Mm-hmm. Which is Eldritch Abominations? The old ones? The Far Realm. Yeah. In its entirety, I would imagine. The planes are in a unique state. They are bleeding. Gross. Imagine what eldritch beings could do with that type of bleeding. We they... would not recognize the results. Correct. I imagine that most beings would perish. All beings would perish. The problem with anti-reality is that it could literally destroy everything without you knowing it existed ever. If If a person died, it would erase all memory of that person. No one would know Jim from down the street is gone. Because no one knew a Jim from down the street. Well, there's no one around to even know Jim. (laughs) They're all gone in this scenario. Well, that sounds terrible. It is. There is a reason why the greater deities never attempted this. The imprisonment of Pan was a last resort. Seems like a It was. It was. Unfortunately, the, the greater deities never expected Eos to betray them the way he did. He promised to never absorb them, never to recollect what he created. It was their first mistake to trust something as powerful as that, then? Well, when when you're one of seven beings in the universe, you're not sure exactly what to believe. I do not fault them, of course. The truth is, he was their father. He was their creator. Everything they were was because of him. It wasn't their place to question. Yeah, you you don't get betrayed by someone you don't trust. I suppose I'm just not used to trusting parents. (laughs) (laughs) You're not, are you? How's your father, by the way? Have you spoke with him? Your dad's alive? In a certain way, yes. Uh, Not as often as I would like. I haven't thought about my dad in forever. I think he was a rug maker. (laughs) <laughs> your father made a particularly good pie if you come back you should bring me one I will endeavor to do so a pie what he's a baker <laughs> that's oh it's on the same level as rug maker a farmer but a man of many trades ah. a father <laughs> <laughs> There's actually one more thing before you go. There's someone here that would like to say hi. I do believe Jacobs may know him. No? I've had a lot of surprises lately. Who's this? (laughs) Yes. Give me two seconds. You guys can talk for a minute. I gotta grab something really quick. No. Okay. So... Yeah, Brock is in, like, one of two camps. It's either, like, find Dora and, like, attempt to slay her. And hope that that's... Doable. And, like, 
fixes never it. tell Pan. <laughs> or, like, cram them both together, awaken the Elder's horrors, and try and take on the rest of the universe. Because, yeah. like, Rock could never kill Pan. Well, no, I mean, and I don't think we're going to imprison her again either. So, right, like, you can't do that to a child. Yeah. Even though she's yeah. not really just a child, she seems to be some kind of entity. Yeah. Right, but... She looks like a child. Brock used to be human. There's no way he can do that. That's a line he can't cross. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. Plus, I, you know, I'm kind of on that page because I just found out that my, you know, ship was run by the soul of my childhood friend. So, yeah. There have been many worlds that were built on a foundation of uh, evil for the greater good, and they all come crumbling down. Anyways, it seems. Oh. Uh, so yeah. I don't believe in in uh, making such compromises. How did how did uh, the Witcher put it? Lesser, greater, middling. If I have to choose between any kind of people, I'd rather not choose at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're actually in a position where we can try and enforce such things. Besides, wouldn't it be interesting if the world ended? Again? Mine's already ended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, my entire world has ended. This is round two for me. So. It's very interesting. Indeed. From top of the throne jumps down a very large, very powerful looking winter wolf. Fluffy boy. Now Mike not may not remember, Fafnir. but Jacob certainly does. It's Fenrir. Yeah, or Fa yeah, I, I said Fafnir. It's, yeah, Fenrir. I, I, I was close. Yeah, I remembered. He runs up. You are the first being he recognizes. Hey. He just like kind of pushes through everyone. Keep in mind, he's actually like a 15 foot long. <laughs> so mm -hmm. he just kind of pushes everyone off to the side. <laughs> like a husky would, basically. Yep. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, that's. That... Hey. <laughs> Is Cochetta with you? Oh. Uh. <laughs> No, he did not make the divine ranks. I'm sorry. His bowstring broke. Yeah, his bow broke again in <laughs> in a dire time, and he didn't make the cut. Uh, I kind of do a quick, uh, like you know, few few word sentence about like the last time I saw him. Do like a little regalement. I've been searching the north, expecting him to be up here, but it seems the Allfather was not lying to me after all. Sorry, Odin. I had been lying. I had distrusted you. I thought you were lying. No, uh, Cochetta was one of pretty, uh, extreme means of survival, but, uh, I don't think even he could get out of what happened to that world. Like, okay, so before I, like, explain, um, so especially Kenna, because she's the closest, like, the sheer cold aura coming off him is fucking insane. So, like, you now realize that this entire area is suddenly covered in, like, an icy glaze that's about a quarter of an inch thick already. And you could tell that it's coming from his anger, and as he begins to kind of, like, get frustrated and but he kind of calms down after like venting his rage a little bit. <laughs> and as he does, like the area like begins to melt. <laughs> Bye, Odin. The storm will end. My apologies. Oh. I'm, I'm sure uh, he would, I'm sure Cochetta would uh, feel honored that you raged a winter storm in his, in his honor. <laughs> 
for eons or whatever, however long this lasted. <laughs> oh, so you're the cause of that. It's not on purpose. Huh. I've been searching for Cochetta. I've checked every out to the north. Every inch I've traveled in search of my companion. Very interesting. Uh, but I will no longer walk the northern wastes. My apologies for any destruction I may have caused. Again, unintentional. It's just a little cold is all. Uh, I explained to... Oh my god. Um, Kenna. I was going to say Anna for some reason. <laughs> um, to Kenna, like, Cochetta's abilities and say if there... Was there a chance he dipped out somewhere? Like, got into some kind of realm and escaped the destruction of the world? Nothing's impossible, but I know of no such person. Okay. Person. I have scoured the multiverse. There is no Cochetta in this universe. Mm. Well, while Kenna is talking to... While Jacobs and Kenna are talking, Rock's gonna try and convince uh, Fenrir to take up residence in his realm in Elysium, where a beast of his caliber is not only welcome but celebrated, where he could have companionship for eternity. Maybe not the same, but Akin. treated as he deserves. I've been to Elysium. It's a good place. There's a couple of people I must say farewell to here. I owe an apology to a handful of villages. <laughs> when I am done saying my goodbyes, I will. I will meet you at your domain. I think I know of it. And he like, in intricate detail, describes your camp. Nice. <laughs> that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, you've been there. He, with a single bound, jumps over onto the platform. It's good to, uh, yeah, it was good to and see then, you again. And he takes off. He says, he, he, he says that he will say his goodbyes, good his goodbyes before he leaves this plane. But he must go apologize for the destru destruction he's caused. <laughs> The wolf's too powerful for his own good. I mean, so out of game, he has divine ranks. Oh, nice. He's a mythic wolf. That's what they were there. Literally yeah. divine. Yeah. He's technically divine rank one. Nice. Dude, his breath weapon calls slow with no save. That was nice. awesome. Is he like, a, like the spirit of like the winter wind or something? Uh, so the way... I mean, he, he's essentially what would have been, like, the guardian of winter. He would have been similar to what Jack Frost was. Okay. Because he's a good creature. <laughs> so if I would have taken winter, would he have, like, been my my doggy? Uh, he, you guys would have made an awesome pair if you'd have taken winter. Yeah. I was curious if you were going to, because he's actually been looking for a friend. Ah, uh, sound bitch. Because the thing, the, the thing is, like... He fits better in with Elysium, like Barbarian Camp kind of thing. Yep. Oh, yeah. Because Chaotic Good's kind of his jam. Well, and then plus, I mean, a winter wolf out on a fucking tropical island, eh. I, don't I mean, he probably would have been your eyes in the north more than anything. Right, right. Yeah, yeah totally. Because he also has supernatural speed, so he can cover the <laughs> that distance quite easily. Mm -hmm. No, it would have been neat. That's all right. That's, that's another... And I look and I and I think about that too, like Jacobs does. He, he could have pulled your ship in like Santa Slay. Oh, he's yeah. he's your Rudolph. Oh my God, that would have been. That's awesome. like to make it fly again, just a dangling ship. Yep. There we go. Just jump, all, pull this fucking all this, thing. All the Smitties falling off the back end constantly. Mm -hmm. Get, Get your back asses up back on. Yep. Tie yourselves to the fucking deck if you have to. I see one more Smithy in the water. <laughs> I'm throwing four more to get him. I do believe that our conversation must come to an end. 
I must ask the four of you, what do you plan on doing with Pan? Whatever you decide, we will not get in your way. You are the harbingers of end time. It is your decision to make, not ours. We will the... not be reuniting her with her with her sister, I believe. That's I think that we her. need to learn more about this threat, but your information that you've provided you as to her nature and the nature of it is invaluable, as is your offer here. It will have to be considered carefully if we uh, choose to utilize it. Whatever you do, do not make a rash decision. It has cost us once already. That is something we certainly will not do. I will leave the four of you to talk and discuss what you do next. I do believe that I do owe Thor a drink. I never thought you'd make it here. <laughs> <laughs> so we shall leave you to your own and you know the phrase, if you wish to take the portal, do so at your leisure. Uh, wrong. Cannon knows the phrase. Wrong <laughs> absolutely does not. Yep. It's like, that was at the beginning of the conversation. And that was a hundred words. Yes. There's no way. I remembered about 20 of them. And then... oh, well. <laughs> can, can you he rattles off the 20 and they were all completely wrong and jangled up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, really? That was in the beginning? I thought that was towards the end. Well, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, Kenna will tell yes. us what to say and go through last. How about you write it down? Give us each a piece of paper. <laughs> well, that would I make probably already did there. while we were uh, while we were talking. Big brain. <laughs> oh, good. So, um, do we have to go at this one at a time? No. Oh. We can all. I mean, it's a pretty big throne, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys could all sit up there and do it at once. Group photo. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, as soon as Rock sits on the throne, he looks like a little schoolgirl, like giddy and happy and laughing and like super cheesy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sitting on Havocar's throne. Right. right. Like, like... All grown up. <laughs> this is like the equivalent of meeting Superman. <laughs> I'm allowed to do this. Yeah. Um, I don't spontaneously combust for thinking about doing this. <laughs> is there anything that we should do is in it... preparation before? Drink passing? that potion. That I Very do. well. <laughs> <laughs> I will do so. Rock it lasts always. for an hour, right? Yeah. All right. Yes. Done. And I do the same. <laughs> and I am out of those. I need to re-up next time we go back to... Uh, port in my place well rock is always effectively ready so. yeah all right so you guys want to say the words and shuffle on okay right. how nice a throne is this i don't know how, what's it made out of well actually there's something interesting so seeing as somebody actually brought up actually investigating the throne so while you're like you know, you're like sitting out. Like, imagine well, if you're halfway sitting... through the words. I mean, 50, 100 <laughs> words in, I'm like just I'm <laughs> bored. <laughs> I'm looking around. Um, you know, like those like really big like Adirondack chairs that they have all over like Minnesota. Yeah, they can sit in like the giant ones. Yeah, it's like you guys are like sitting up there, and like now that you take a second to like look down. So, uh, Ken, why don't you give me an intelligence check? And anyone, anyone else that do. anybody that wants to give me an intelligence check and oh, do yeah. an yeah. check. Oh yeah. Bad. Ah, shuckers. Yeah. Um. Twenty-one. Um. Oh wow, I beat you. Twenty-five. <laughs> Nine. Anyone else or just you? Nineteen. Okay. Ten. Nice. Wow. It's so, uh, so Jacob is the only one that gets it. Um. So I, Jacob. I've had a lot of thrones. <laughs> so yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I have um, too. For the briefest of moments while you're concentrating, you can see the universe. Oh, what is that? I say out loud and everything. Um, and then it probably you flips out. See, yeah, yeah, kind of. Like, you see, like, a thing. So, 
you see things on the grand scale for the first time. Imagine if you're playing like an RTS like Stellaris and you zoomed all the way out. Mm -hmm. And then like you can control that at will. The moment you think of things, you start thinking of all the things in the universe, you see Eos. You see (gasps) an Oblivion. You see... I don't understand. (laughs) Your ship. You see the Southern Hook. And suddenly you flash back and you're like vomiting all over the place, all over this chair, all over this throne. (laughs) You pee your pants. Like you just desecrate this throne in every way possible, basically. Oh, man. Uh, (laughs) I saw everything. (laughs) So did I. Looking at you. As soon as we get through to the other side, Rock's going to like Gibbs smack him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, holy shit. Yeah, this is like Batman, God of Knowledge. Stuff. Well, the thing that's cool is you are one of two beings in the universe that have ever seen, well, one of three that have ever seen an Oblivion. Good job. What the fuck was that? Uh, so you got to see a, uh, actually, just give me a, 50, a percentage dice. Uh, low, positive, high, negative. Okay, negative. Okay, so you see this creature so black, so what I would consider void of really anything. Actually, that's not true because they're actually they have like a pearlescent pearl, like purple that kind of swirls through them. Um, A being the size of several, several, several planets. Yeah, that that makes sense. Floating through the galaxy, and it looks up at you. (laughs) Yeah, I like. It like it, like as you see it, it like it motions as if it like the front of it was like angling towards you. What the fuck? It can't. I'm. That doesn't make. I'm a speck. I'm a speck on a speck. That oh, that would be. So now, so now you guys teleport at this moment. I mean, if it perceives all things, then it will be seemingly looking at you, no matter what or where you are. <laughs> it's watching you. Yeah. Um, so uh, what, while you are uh, puking, you, you, you're, you're trying to yeah, you're puking. You're thinking about trying to tell Kenna this. You guys yeah. suddenly teleport. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, <laughs> and the um, it's probably for the best. Probably. I didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Um, oh, it was awful. So the kind of neat thing is, you guys actually appear on a platform that is identical to this did it work i don't think it what did you do How did you eat you vomit on have a course throne what should you drink <laughs> yeah, sorry sorry <laughs> oh um i don't i not enough for that not not enough to, to i didn't drink enough to to witness what i saw oh god <laughs> that means you need more Good vodka. I, I do. <laughs> oh my god. Uh I don't even know how to can you read minds? Can you I don't Kenna, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> uh is this a relevant right now? No, but well maybe. I don't know. It was horrible. <laughs> and and <laughs> Oh, there we go. I think it's all out. I could give us a telepathic link. So I saw Eos, I think. And everything in the universe. How? And something I don't know what it is. And it looked at me. And then I, you know, puked. in all from the far realm? I think so. I don't know. I've never seen anything from the far realm. Are we, are we, like, is there a dragon? First off, before we, yep, right. before we do this. I like the fact that you guys are discussing this because this is probably more realistic. Um, no, there's yeah, not. I puked as we teleported. <laughs> that did kind of take over. There's no dragon? They're not in your immediate vicinity, no. Okay, so back to this then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, James uh, yeah like we talked for a minute and they're like, wait, is there a dragon? Okay, mm-hmm. no, all right. <laughs> um... I can could establish a, a telepathic link. 
it's, up it's, to, it's up to you. It was fucking crazy. I don't uh, think I have the words tried. or mental faculties to tell you everything. So I do my best. <laughs> and I like, you know, I say what Blaine told me. Could I discern anything from what he uh, describes? So Jacobs is not an idiot. No. Uh, he can he he probably Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After like a few moments of like trying to like synthesize everything that he saw, he can give you a vague description of like literally it's like out of a textbook discussing when Zaladin tried to summon an oblivion and the being that they saw. Like yes, I... it would definitely register seeing as Zaladin is fresh in your mind. So the the three people who have seen this thing, Zaladin, oh. obviously. Yep. Zaladin. Now Jacobs and Aos. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, I wish we hadn't teleported now. <laughs> now you're all jealous. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm definitely jealous. Oh, uh, was was that was it important? Well, yes. The entity that you saw it was an oblivion mm. sounds bad does jacob know what an oblivion is yeah we, we talked about it okay yep. yeah, okay holy shit then is bad That's, yes from from our perspective certainly well it saw me i think or gleaned my existence well, that's very interesting. I'll have to go back to that throne and examine it more closely. Yes, yes, you will. Uh, but un until then, uh, a dragon? Something I understand? Hmm. Yes, I'll, we'll have to discuss this in greater detail later. Hmm. As it always is with you. Yeah, you... <laughs> That means that I'm going to harass you with questions for like four hours straight. Right. I, I know the drill. Just enhance my alcohol. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start pulling out his whiskey bottle. He's like, yeah. I, I got Lucy here. Yep. You have a full hole in a bottle of rum. Yeah. Only way to get through the conversation. Exactly. The, the god of knowledge comes <laughs> interviewing me. Yeah. Well, thankfully, you guys were given a small break before the dragon showed up. Because that allowed you to not forget some things. But the dragon does, in fact, show up. Oh, that's nice. What's up, bro? So, that is what he looks like. Oh, it's to the right, off screen. So, we're in the sliver of Lunaria? Why is it so yep. big? So, does this, is this, like, a cut out of the Feywild? Or yeah. is this independent? It's, it's technically independent. Um, the way I would describe it to you is imagine if you have like the Feywild and then you have like the courts that are in the Feywild. Yeah. They are technically directly a part of the Feywild, but they're independent of the effects of the Feywild. Yeah. So it's like. It's its own domain. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you can only get to here from where we came. Either as that as, or, as well, as, as far as everyone knows, as far as anyone would know, yes. Um, the old way of getting to Lunaria was through the Silver Falls portals, but those have been closed since Flaxos died. Yeah. Did he, like, run, like, is, he, is his, he was what powered them? No, it was the Vlaxos moon that got blown up. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, just got destroyed in battle. Yeah, the the moon of Laxos is so like the portal used to be like a kind of a um, like a waypoint system, like where the portals from Silver Falls would go to Lunaria or the like Laxos moon, and then from the moon there were dozens of portals that led to Lunaria, but now they're all gone, as far as anyone knows. So yeah, so why don't you guys roll initiative? Haha. Oh, yeah. Can we move ourselves? <laughs> yes, you, you can. You can move within the the generally the top circle, assuming right. that you guys were like expecting a fight. You guys probably jumped out ready to fight, and then you guys were probably screaming at each other across the battlefield about <laughs> what they saw. Did he 
see that? Uh, did you look at that picture of Batman in the chair? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's totally what I thought of immediately <laughs> when you said that. I'm like, oh, that's all right. Yep. I suck at initiative. Not as much as me this time. I got a one. No, I guarantee nope. that I suck. Not, not one. <laughs> does does that Plus. ones not work? Like do the I don't know like do no the... no it's not that's only riffs that does that oh okay okay then yeah you yeah, still way higher than me gotcha um then so twenty with a nat one <laughs> holy shit Rock goes Jeez. first stupid what stupid awesome yeah that that's kind of ridiculous oh uh, well, the nat one uh it's, I'll just take the highest die uh, uh, number of the die yeah e- easily got twenty. I know. It's like I can't get a 40 initiative roll. I also rolled really low for the dragon, so luckily for you guys, Rock, you go first. Uh, do we want to try and talk to this guy first? He is not in a talking mood. He looks like he's going to breath weapon you. In the... I mean, so he is the phylactery, right? Yes. Oh, no, we can't talk to the phylactery. This is a non-negotiable one. Okay, well, I was just wondering if we could kidnap him. All right, uh, are there... What is this area? Does it look like the one in the picture? <laughs> no. Oh, mountain. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Okay. So to clarify exactly what this is. So the top two floors, so the top black square circle and the teal circle are completely smooth surfaces, equivalent of stone with four foot walls around the outside of it. And then the stairway is going down that has a similar four foot wall going down the stairs. So the stone white outline well. is four foot wall on each. Yep. Okay. Yep. The bottom circle has a very, very slight incline from the top stairs all the way down to the pathway where you guys came here. Okay. So that was my first question. Second question, do I feel divine again? Oh, yeah. When we okay. left, you, when we teleported. You, you feel all sorts of awesome. Okay. And so he, now... he's about where he's, like, flying. He's actually not flying. He's actually just standing, getting ready to breathe whatever <laughs> is up onto that platform. Okay. So... He has his claws like mounted on the top. He, he's probably actually more realistically like that, he's where gonna... he's standing on top of the he's bottom gonna, two platforms. Gonna platform. breathe death at us. All right. He's breathe uh, something at I'm you. I'm gonna like hop over the stairs onto this thing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Keep oh. it. Keep in mind these are ten foot squares. Oh, then probably be next to Jake. Okay, so that would be. Yeah, I was puking on the floor. One, two, <laughs> so well. three, four. I am, Maybe yeah, next I, to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have I am where I am because I made it off the throne to the floor. <laughs> All right, so I would be there and uh I'm gonna storm caller this guy. Uh and see if I can remember how to draw this. Alt shift. Yep. Oh <laughs> this this Endeavor every time. Hmm. How big is it? Well, it's not letting me do it. Is it this big? Or this big? These are ten, these are ten foot squares too, right? Yeah, yep. it would just be Does one. This guy to scale. Yep. Holy remember, shit. remember Fay Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being big here doesn't mean anything. Uh. It would be you've you've literally seen pixies the size of houses. Well, wait a minute. This guy is nothing compared to the planet, several planet-sized monster I just saw. He's a baby. Yeah, small potatoes. Yeah, we got this. This is practice. I hope. There we go. I did it. Aw, proud of you. Wow. Also, by the way, in case you guys ever have issues moving your circles, I figured out what causes that. What's that? Uh, if you are zoomed out beyond yeah, yeah. 100%, yeah, you yeah. have to zoom in to over yeah, 100%. It's super annoying, yeah, especially is, when you're making maps. Is you can like, uh, you can <laughs> yeah, because look at all the circles in front of you. And you oh, I know. I just, made a big, <laughs> I just made a circle map, too. For, 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 yeah. well, <laughs> You'll see that it, next week I'll or tomorrow. Yeah. Typhoon That's bolt sick. thing there. And uh, I'm going to... my. Mildly annoy him. So <laughs> take that. Get wrecked. Get uh he gets a dexterity saving throw. 
DC 20. <laughs> oh, wow. He actually might make that. I was laughing. So I was like, there's no way he's making this. And he, nope, he did not make it. Okay, so I'm going to chuck him. Dexterity is not his strength, if you didn't guess by the massive dragon in front of you. All right. That's great. I'm going to chuck him 20 feet in this direction. And he <laughs> just, like, launch him into the air and chuck him 20 feet. He's like, uh, uh, uh. And he takes... Yeet. How much is it? Come on, don't be that. Don't be that, please. One. Ah, ah, ah. Why? Ah, he ah. takes one point of force damage. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Nice. That's the I mean, opening like, volley as a god. Like, like, from your point of view, it looks ridiculous because it's like a 120 foot long dragon that you just threw into like a bridge and it just kind of like folds over the bridge temporarily. <laughs> like, I'm really confused at what just happened. <laughs> yeah, you did say uh, slightly inconvenience him or whatever, or annoy. You ruffled his feathers. Right. Uh, and my bonus action will be to go into a rage. All right. All right, I'm done. Very good, very good. <laughs> well, right. it was something. Uh, that brings it to Jacob. Did you just throw that dragon? I was trying to get us out of breath weapon range. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to make lining up the breath weapon more inconvenient. I don't... I, uh, hmm... I don't know how to fight this thing. Stab it. All right. Or shoot it. A lot. Stab ahoy. <laughs> she tells him to stab, and she's like, wait, you should probably just shoot it. You're closer that way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got to look at my range on that shooty. It's a, it's pretty far. I don't think it's 120, though. Yeah, it's pretty far away right now. Yeah. Kind of, okay, pistol. Oh, yeah, 120 to 240. So it is exactly... Within range. So I shoot Steve. Ew. And come on with it. Oh, I'll also um, sharpshooter for an extra uh, damage. Oh, boy. Not great. 20 total. A hit? Wow. Well, Wait, no. no. Do, you, do you say two hit? Yeah, 20 to hit. No, no, no. That does not hit. I didn't think so. No, no, it hits and just bounces right off of them. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to miss this thing, no. but the AC. <laughs> right, right. Oh, damn it all! All right. Well, um, good luck, everyone. And I hook to over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, you wouldn't be able to get right there. You'd be hit that wall right there well, in front the, of you. Yeah, the, the wall. Then, like, I'll yep. perch on the wall. Oh yeah, you probably oh, you could still just jump over it if yeah that would make sense. You could just yeah use them. You use your momentum and hop over. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, you could put yourself back on the ramp if you want to be there. Okay, because this is going up or that ramp goes up from there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're at, that's on the lower part there. Yep. Yep. I'm kind of maybe like if if this whatever. Is all right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I... There. So so to, oh yeah, I suppose I forgot to mention that part. So each one of these towers are about twenty to thirty feet up. All right. Yep, I'm done. Um, okay. So that <laughs> Good luck, everyone. I hope we All make right, it out Pierce. of this. Pierce, your turn. This is a monster dragon like I have never seen. <laughs> uh, so I yell over to Cat. Like, what type of dragon is this? Lunar uh, dragon, right? What's that? Is it a lunar dragon? It is. Jacob's it, never uh, fucked with a lunar I, dragon. I will tell you this right now. It does not look like a standard lunar dragon. Like, he's definitely been genetically yeah. modified through magic. Lunar <laughs> dragon plus a little bit of extra spice. Yep. <laughs> a little bit and of extra nice. magic. Expect um, very cold attacks Omega and probably some, dragon. some necrotic based things, if I had to guess, which not too much of an issue for you. Eh, no, looks, not for me. Looks down, immune to cold, immune to necrotic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I don't know how to do the arrow thing to see how far away it is. Uh, so on the left hand side, there it looks like a comb with like a little like L bracket. It's the three. It's yeah, the third one up from the bottom. Uh, and for me, it's a fifth. Yeah, because you're a DM. Yeah, so you got the special. I'm giving, you, I'm giving him a player 
viewpoint. Oh, oh interesting. <laughs> I didn't know I had extra things. Yeah, yeah. You're privileged. Mm -hmm. So a third from the this bottom. Is this is snap great. to corner. <laughs> yeah. Yep, snap to corner. So now you just click oh. that, and then you grab on you, and there oh. you go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. As it's, so, is it space to fuck with that thing? No. Uh, shift, I think. Well, I was, you know. Well, you can right click and make little cool things like this. If you right click, you oh yeah, I have it hidden. You can't see that good. Oh, you can do it with right click. You can also do it by pressing Q. Q. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm like, was I, it... yeah, I was gonna say I right click all the time. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, if you do, if you go back to that and you put snap to corner, it works a little bit better for your measuring. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna cast slow on him. Let's see how that works. Kind of saving throw that. Range. What's that? What Wisdom. Kind of yeah. that? Wisdom. Yep. What kind yeah, of got... what kind of slow does slow do? Like unless it brings him down to like two feet, I don't think it's gonna matter. Oh, it reduces his attacks. And oh, neat. I I, I don't I don't know what slow. It does. is. It is useful. Cool, good, good. Yeah. I don't know what slow does. I'm not a fucking magician. Uh, Have at you it. Got a 24. I don't know what your spell save is. Uh, spell save is 26. Nice. So he fails. Wow. Bada boom. Bada save suck. Boom. Sucks to suck. I yeah. have gotten that slow every single time. I don't think anybody's actually succeeded on that. <laughs> you are the master nope. of slow. At least on the first time. Yeah. yeah. No one expects it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that Especially the funny. DM. Who should see yeah. it coming by now? <laughs> no, I don't cheat. I don't. No, I know. I know. My encounters, like I hate DMs. I do that so much. Yeah. yeah. The only th the only thing is like if the like players ask for it, like give us a fucking beast of a challenge that really puts our shit to the test. You know, it's like I, mean, all right. I think most I think most of my encounters could kill you guys if you guys dicked around too much. So oh I'm yeah. Not sure about that. <laughs> Yeah, we'd have to we'd have to not take it seriously. As you're currently facing a hundred foot dragon. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We're just kind of hanging out. Um, okay, so anything else, or is that it? No, that's it. I'm good. Okay. Um, that sucked. Uh, well, I guess he'll just. Well, actually, first of all, now that it's his turn, y'all need to make a uh, DC 18 Wisdom saving throw. Fear factor. No problem. I was about to I was about to shit talk that DC before I rolled, but I decided against it. Um because I still have to roll a seven. Alright, what but I did. skipping throw was it? Uh DC eighteen wisdom. Ha <laughs> ha I knew I was right to put my proficiency into wisdom. Oh poor Matt. <laughs> Pierce oh, is afraid Lord. of everything, so that's fair. <laughs> Go, uh, I'll, I'll give him a nope. He's naturally afraid. Okay, so you get to automatically succeed on that, yep. right? That's yep. how we change it. Yep, yep. Okay, so you're not feared. Oh, I'm not. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. I'm afraid uh, no lunar dragon. No. Oh, I, 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 succeed, I succeeded, so I kind of, I see you shaking. Awesome. Don't worry, it's just oh, think of it as a big. Yes. It's just a Solus dragon. Solus got an 18. It's he doesn't a, give a shit. Nice. It's just a bigger version of Solus. <laughs> oh, fuck. Solus oh. is here. Uh, so we got a thing to do, actually. Where's Solus? He's, okay. he's with me. Right, he's right behind. Kinda, uh, or on. Solus is uh, more Mega powerful. Solus. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Right, turn around. Um, <laughs> he just realized this. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot you had Solus here. Uh, so dragons attuned with the Feywild in any way, shape, or form, including outer dragons and him, uh, get this cool thing where they increase by two size categories up to or huge. Mm -hmm. Is that why he's so <laughs> and, big? Yep. Cool. Uh, so all of his attacks have advantage. All of his rolls that he makes have advantage. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's saving throw, attack, whatever, he has advantage on it. If it's whittle a fucking statue, it's advantage. Yep. <laughs> if he decides to attack, any creature that he's up against has disadvantage on all saving throws Ooh. against him and any of his abilities. Ooh. That's amazing. And his claws also deal an extra 10 damage when they hit. Dang. Oh, boy. Man, he okay, is um... Megasolus, king of the dragons. 
Mega Assault. Yes. Oh god, oh, I sense a polymorph coming up. Ah, uh, the one yeah. thing that is probably a little disproportionate for him is he becomes a similar schematic to that guy. He becomes a black and tealish color. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, like you probably look and he's like, you're like, oh. Probably actually, it might make you nervous for a second because yeah, yeah. <laughs> might think he's taken over. Okay. But then, but then you hear his like um his megalomaniac laugh like, Mah-ha-ha-ha! and you're like, oh, okay, it's just him. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, have the power. <laughs> do it. Do his hit points change from? Uh yes. Yeah, so he, from... so he gains. Uh, what? This, from, how from... many hit dice does he have? Twenty. Same as me. 20. Okay. So he has the same hit dice. Okay. So he'll gain sixty hit points. Nice. Okay. Check, that's check. like, that's like one attack. Uh, okay, so plus ten damage. Yeah, plus uh, ten damage for his claws only, not bite. Okay, he has a bite. I don't think he has a bite. And then basically, he has advantage on everything, and anything against him has disadvantage. Okay. And uh, is the equivalent of what that is. Sixty HP. Yep. Right. Welcome to the Dragon Throne. Mm-hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Yeah, like, and he gets a scary ass voice too, because you know he's big and scary. Um, <laughs> just imagine him still trying to be cute and giggly. <laughs> just starts rolling around on the ground. Yeah. So, so I guess I didn't even say that. He's just a much bigger Solus. Holy shit, Solus is a much bigger Solus. <laughs> <laughs> Carry me, Kenna. Jumps on you. <laughs> Smush. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go with breath weapon. I think he can. St- Let's see here. Let me figure out to make sure I'm not cheating. I don't know how bad it is to be afraid of this thing, so stop yeah, so it. Every, <laughs> everyone but Jacobs gets hit with a chain lightning like effect like effect. As like he opens his mouth and you guys see like the nuclear fire from like the new Godzilla movies, like just form up in his mouth and just shoots forward. Mm-hmm. Sets off with rock, pings off a of rock, hits Pierce, pings off a of Pierce, hits Kenna, pings off a of Kenna, hits Solus. Uh, you guys can all make a dexterity saving throw to attempt to avoid. And you have resistance to all damage, Kenna. DC 24 dex Kenny. Okay, so kind of failed. Ah, uh, so let's fail. Ooh, that is too far for me to help. Unless that's getting stronger with rank increases. Like, no. We, the range. Okay. Eventually, if I like, you know, get to the point where I can take luck again, I should be able, like look into being able to do that to just anyone anywhere on the planet. That guy needs luck. Ding. Yep, exactly. <laughs> All right. So, anyone? I really don't like when I make quick hand notes and it doesn't look right. So anybody that failed, that is 104 lightning damage. Okay. Half. Yep, half to succeed. Yep. What was it to succeed? Uh, DC 24. Oh, okay. So half. Jeez. Ow. That was painful. Also, Megasolus. Poor Megasolus. (laughs) That was a lot of hurt. At half of 104. Yes. Yes. 52. 52. You didn't save because... Kenna. Nope. Ah, damn. And because you're all jerks, he can't do anything else. That's all he's doing. Because <laughs> you're all jerks. <laughs> I just shot, missed, and dipped. Uh, Kenna, you're up. <laughs> At the end of his turn, he gets to make an eye um, wisdom saving throw. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He failed. The problem is that it's, it's a wisdom, which is not his best. It's not bad, but <laughs> all right. That's so a hard DC to make was it twenty six? He said. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so I'm going to move, uh, run over here and jump off this. And as I jump off, I'm going to make a portal or make a, put my, uh, my planar thing up there. And I'm going to channel the, uh, the power of Celestia 